Hello people, Mega Nintendo Wolf is being awesome, maybe, possibly. Uh, last episode we got out of the Temple of Droplets, got completely butt raped many, many times. But in this episode we're going to go fuse the sword of Picori thing. The name eludes me, my mind is sort of lost now. But now that we've got the an item that can, you know, fire, burn stuff. I love how it does that to grass. I just love it. If we head in here, remember this guy, he was like, oh no, oh shots and all balls and all that. We can't fight because it's too dark. Anyway, you're in the presence of the true Master Sazman of Hyrule, Grim Blade. If you're trained with me, you shall become the true Master Sazman. So would you like to train? Yes, please. You will learn the meaning of power with the technique of a sword beam. First, when your hearts are full, Second, swing your sword, mighty sword. You're ready. <laughs> Tripping over my tongue. That's really there. <coughs> Throat dry. <coughs> That's all there really is to it, young swordsman. Do you understand? Yes, I do, sir. Person thing. But it's only begin. Yeah, yeah, okay. Do you want to show us the technique? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Can you leave me a full heart? Because I kind of need it. Oh, like the peri beam, but better. Because you're on full hearts, kind of. This is for more skilled users, I guess. See? Like in old Zelda games. Yes, I work. You know the way. Tight scroll. Yeah. Mm, yes. Mm, yeah. Mm, blah, 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 blah. Fire beams. Yay. Can I do with stuff? Uh, how many target scrolls do we have now? Six. Okay. Well, onwards, I guess. I guess we can finally, like, infuse our element with the sword. Don't you dare think about it. Are you stuck? Okay, you're stuck. Die, 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 Come on, you need to die now, Mr. Good. I'm glad you're stuck in a hole, sort of thing. Snakes and ladders, I get it now. See? Monies. Lovely, lovely monies. Bah. Let's go and fuse that element of ours. Crap. Okay, let's not go and fuse that element of ours. Let's sneak into Hyrule Castle. Don't notice me. I'm a sneaky ninja person, you can't notice me. I'm practically just wa walking in. In we go, in we go. Yep. Oop. Yeah, take it, bitches, because I'm awesome. Uh, wow, we can finally get to this fountain. Fairies. Needed. Oi, I said I need fairies. Bitches. Fairies needed now. Possibly, yeah. And I'll leave the other one for the Furious Charm. So let's get out my awesome item of burning this. And let's go Pyromaniac on this thing. Oh, hey, a ladder. I love, I love how that burns, it's awesome. You cock! In fact, I hope you're not one, but I will. So, does anyone else remember the secret passage from A Link to the Past? Die! Sword beam, to the face, to the snake face thing. Yeah, take it! And that opens up. Where will we come out? Here, inside Hyrule Castle. Sneaking around is needed. This is a pretty courtyard. You'd think it'd be guarded, though, as anyone could, like, come in from the roof. I mean, it's not impossible, despite it being medieval times. You could get a rope, climb up there, and get in there and assassinate the king. You'd think they'd be more careful of that. Uh... <clears throat> Infuse my blade. We finally get a change the colour of our sword from red that we've had for so long now. Two, a... you've probably guessed it by now. A blue colour, which I think is a little bit cooler than red. I mean, look at it. The power of the water element is infused in your blade. The power of the element allows you to split as many as three copies. Which is pretty cool, if I say so myself. Blue blade looks awesome, but not quite as good as the green one. 
I really want the green one. Why didn't they make it an item? Yay, free people. I guess we can now move onwards. Uh, yeah. Onwards we go, but before we progress any further, there are kind of like... Okay, all the doors are locked. There are two Keystone Fusions that you've got to do. Well, you don't have to do them, but if you're going for 100%, you're going to want to do them now, pretty much, before we progress any further and can't get to them. And hey, look on the bright side. These Keystone Fusions actually give you something useful. So let's go get them. Run away from Zephyr. Ah. So yeah, head on over to Minish Woods and I will meet you in there. You want to fuse Keystone? Let's give it a try. Yes, Bellari, let's give him a fuse. The one who gave us bombs before, remember? That guy. Uh, one guy who is a part of, like a pyrotechnic kind of he plays with bombs. Ooh! Now remember where that is, because you'll want to pick that up. It is a very useful item. Well, it is useful. It's a good item. Hello, anybody here? Yes there is. Okay, let's go fuse with the elder. Oop, yep, yep, but he's fusing, he's fusing. Now this is one of my favourite kinstones, well, one of the favourite rewards you can get from this guy. Bing. You know, what you would be great, a bomb that only went off when you wanted. Huh, I actually think I could probably make one of those. Just a few minor tweaks. Yep, you heard it right. A bomb that only goes off when you want it to. Mega Nintendo Wolf, what does that mean you're asking me? I bet you're guessing. Well... Or you could not be asking that at all. You could be like, stop talking to yourself. But yeah, talk to this guy. Alas, it's complete. The remote bomb, it allows you to blow up whenever you... Whenever. If you ever need a bomb again, just trade it back for when you sell. Yep, you get to trade your bombs for remote bombs. Awesome. These things, if you ever want to use a bomb... Yeah, yeah, if you ever want your normal bombs back, you can go see him. But you probably wouldn't want to. Because these things go off when you want them to. Unlike the other ones, you, like the normal bombs where you could have three at a time, you can only have one. But, you have these bombs. See? When it, you press, like, B to pick it up, like that, or play one, and you press B to place it again. Or whatever item you've got it set to. Now let's go get that item that I was showing you before. Okay, I'm back. Oh crap, I'll go on the drop. Um, yep, die please. Come on, I need your monies. Die. Monies! Yep, now that uh, hidden chest we got from the Keystone Fusion should be around here somewhere. There it is. Yeah, so basically, before you progress uh, to, like, find that ghost or go see that ghost of King guy that we we saw in the last episode, there are two Keystone Fusions. Before you want to do that, and you can do them right here and now as it's easiest. So, yeah. Do that. Okay, a few other things before we progress that we can do now. We've got the flippers that I didn't show before, but I can show now because I'm spreading them out because we've got too many in the episode. But oh well. Yes, onwards. What you'll want to do is go to this Minish portal over here, shrink down, jump into the water, and swim this way. Yay. And you see that hole here? There? Right here now? Thing? Well, you can get a heart piece from it. Now, how awesome is that? Yay. Next one, please. Okay, in Castle Wilds. Remember all those lily pads that we, like, made happen by Kinstone Fusion? Uh, now that we have the Zora Flippers, we still can't, like, go over this as Minish as we'll still die because it's turning me big again. Fuck you. Yeah, we still can't, like, cross this mud and all that because it's still, like, too gooey for us and we'll drown instantly. But, yeah, and there's a red Kinstone thing. So, yeah, basically we've got all these through Kinstone Fusion for these lily pads. And we're now looking to sort of get over here. We couldn't before because we couldn't cross water. 
And we'll just want to walk our way down through Castle Wilds as a minish, avoiding any snakes that will want to eat us. Until we find that water that is around here. There it is. Luckily we can swim in water. And we'll want to go in that hole before. That we saw before. And we'll see that we've got some kind of random dungeon sort of thing going on. That we need. Right. I guess it's going to have to be the middle one. But let's go for this chest just because we can. Swim, swim, swim. Wait, don't you dare fall on me. And are we there yet? Right, now this is where my remote bombs come into play because we've got a bigger bomb bag so we can use them more freely now. Ow, fuck you. I said fuck you. Yeah, take it. Okay, look, I'm not happy with your ant, the things, pincer. Wait, die. Thank you. Push. Push. Die, bitch. Wait. Die. Thank you. Fucking die. And we have a piece of heart right here, right now, on our dinner plate. Yep, so let's head off to the next one. Okay, what you want to do, remember this path that I showed you before? Go this way and you'll see that piece of heart that I may or may not have pointed out before at Vale Falls. Well, you're going to want to pick that up. Nope, no secrets, no money, just pick up this piece of heart. And this will be me ending the episode off here for now for today. So thank you for watching guys and I will see you later.